My name is Hamish Fulside from the Climate Foundation. The Climate Foundation is working with an international team of experts on the Reinvent the Toilet Challenge posed by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Together we are working to solve the global sanitation crisis by transforming human solid waste into biochar, which is a pathogen-free and clean resource that can be used as an agricultural soil supplement and also as a fuel. The biochar reactor solution that we're developing is designed to work on a community scale. Billions of people worldwide do not have access to sanitation services. Breakthrough technology should be able to work completely standalone, independently of power, water or sewage services, as well as being financially sustainable. Let me introduce the team. Climate Foundation combines experts on science, engineering and innovation management from both the US and Europe. Sanergy has developed an extensive sanitation infrastructure in Nairobi. Together, we've set up a lab for the analysis of human waste on site and for the production of biochar samples. As our launching partner, Sanergy will test the reactor prototype at their facility in the second half of 2014. In the Department of Crop and Soil Sciences at Cornell University, the Soil Biogeochemistry and Soil Fertility Program has researchers that study the properties and use of biochar as a soil amendment at a local and a global scale. Prasino Group has a substantial knowledge of how to develop the operations, sales and marketing of biochar in both North America and in Africa. Thai Technocrats is our fabrication partner in Bangalore, India. There they are fabricating our dryer technology and integrating with the carbonizer. Other industrial partners Ag Fuel Energy Systems from Aurora, Missouri in the United States has provided the biomass furnace, which we have further modified to create the carbonizer for our reactor. ClearStack is an environmental engineering company in Woodstock, Connecticut in the United States. Thermal Energy International in Ottawa, Canada has designed the low temperature biomass dryer for the human solid waste. Triopac, based in Montreal, Canada, is fabricating the biomass dryer. Genoa Sterling from Milan, Italy, makes Sterling engines. We're using these Sterling engines in order to create kilowatts of electricity from the heat generated by the carbonizer. Hi, my name is Karo Ambugu. I work at Sanaji Lab. Uh, basically, we, we've set up a human waste lab where we do moisture analysis on the raw waste. We also do the caloric value and we do the 
We make biota samples. Hi, my name is Fausto Marciga and I work here at Sanergy. I work on the uh, research and development for the byproduct side. And what my job entails is helping our scientists such as Carl um, run the lab, run the experiments and understand more about the characteristics of our waste. So on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I help with the construction of the lab, the installation of the equipment, the maintenance of the equipment, and also helping with um, setting up large-scale experiments, mainly field experiments outdoors. And really, um, what I do is I work with Carl and our other guys in the lab to understand more how the waste works, uh, what characteristics it has, and then I help op optimize the operations within Sanergy. Prakriti Renewable Power is uh, partnering with uh, Climate Foundation uh, as part of this uh, reinventing the toilet project. There are two, two builds of this particular product being undertaken, uh, one in the US and one in India. Uh, Prakriti Renewable Power is doing this particular product build in India. Uh, we are here making, a, making the uh, part which is the uh, uh, converting the uh, or drying the human solid waste uh, and then this would be put into the carbonizer which has been coming from the US uh, being done by the Climate Foundation. The various components of the, uh, uh, of the build which is being done in India is the, uh, uh, the dryer which is inside a container there's a vacuum box and then there is an air filter for smell removal. Uh, we are also uh, we are putting to building the uh, fluase, which is a heat recovery unit. This is the build of the air filter. Uh, the air filter is located on top of the container. The uh, air which is sucked out of the uh, sucked through the material in the belt uh, carries with it some of the odors. And to remove these odors, we are using the air filter. The air filter has an uh, activated carbon bed. And as the air passes through it in uh, sequential form, spread across an adequate surface area, it, the smell would be removed. In this test, we're using a simulant for the eventual human solid waste. On the back of this hopper, there are control panels which allow us to control the flow of air and fuel into the carbonizer chamber. Inside the carbonizer chamber, the fuel is combusted uh, using the primary air source uh, whose rate is controlled. In the base of the unit, there are augers which take biochar away from the combustion area and into a, uh, an extraction box at the end here. Biochar is collected in the, uh, in the box at the end of the combustion chamber. And there it is, black gold. <laughs> 